with the extra point this is eric mckinney joined by greg katz greg going back to last saturday scrimmage coming out of it one of the things clay helton talked about was his cornerbacks and, and that it was sort of an, an up and down day for them and, and there he mentioned uh the the four receivers and that's drake london brew mccoy amon ross st brown tyler vaughn's all of them sort of getting on the end of, of big explosive plays down the field and he said that's something that the corners are going to have to look at and, and figure out your level of concern right now with that group of, of USC cornerbacks. Well, it's kind of a mixed bag because, number one, they're dealing with a new defense, a new secondary coach, or at least corners, because we know that Craig Nybar is doing the safeties, right? But it was enough of a concern that when Helton spoke to the media, he brought it up that we were getting beat one-on-one. -on -one. So I assume that one-on-one -on -one is not one-on-one -on -one with a safety. I'm assuming that one-on-one -on -one was a corner, which was interesting because uh, Helton did say some pauses about Elijah Griffin bringing energy. But, you know, you can bring a lot of energy, but that doesn't mean you're executing. And I think what it all rolls into and why there is concern is the first opponent, ASU, has got Jaden Daniels at quarterback, who, of course, the Trojans didn't see last year, who could have made a difference last year, uh, Trojans might not have got out of Tempe with a win had, uh, you know, ASU's normal starting quarterback been at the helm at the time. But that being said, he is going to play. Daniels is going to play against the Trojans, and he could cause all sorts of issues. Even if the Trojan front four it lives up to a billing of, hey, they're going to be something really good, Daniels will improvise. He'll get out of the pocket. He can really wreak havoc, havoc on, the, on the corners. So they're going to be under added stress. This is not what I would call who you'd want to start off your season with, a, a, a mobile quarterback that's actually good. It's going to put the entire USC defense in a tough spot. For me, with the corners, I, I'm not concerned yet. Again, it's like we've talked about not being able to see these practices. You're, you're just kind of going on, on what you're hearing and certainly what Clay Helton has talked about. This, to me, feels like, like a big challenge for those guys. I, I think that he knows that, that a Chris Steele and Elijah Griffin and, and Isaac Taylor Stewart, that those are talented guys, and they can be some of the best cornerbacks in the Pac-12. I mean, do you know another group of cornerbacks that would get challenged by this USC wide receiver group? Pretty much every, every group of corners in the country. So if you're going to practice against a group, you want to practice against this group. And I don't think there's any shame in – getting beat by them or, or these guys kind of making plays downfield. Now, if this becomes something where, you know, they're not winning any of their battles, then, then that is cause for concern. Clay Elton did say they got on, on, the, on the winning side of a few of them, but were beat uh, on a few of them. That being said, it, it, it does send up a little bit of a, of, of a red flag when you've got a guy like Jaden Daniels and, and really kind of the, the Pac-12, you know, a lot of these teams are, are bringing in new quarterbacks, but you know there's wide receiver talent and you know there's going to be passing talent kind of throughout the, the conference. There, there always is. Um, but I, I trust those top three guys and I trust Dante Williams uh, at this point to think that this is kind of issuing that, that challenge of, hey, guys, you need to step it up because – you don't just have to be kind of a, an okay group. You've got to match what those USC wide receivers are going to bring. And those USC wide receivers, are, are they're going to bring it every single practice, every single game. And, and so to match that, no matter who you are as a corner group, you, you better raise your game. So that, that's kind of the way I took it early on. Um, that's a group of, of corners, and especially when you mix in those safeties, that I don't have a, a ton of concern over uh, at, at this point because I do think – that there's a, a lot of talent there, but if the same thing starts happening, it, you know, over, over the next two scrimmages, it, it gets to the point where you kind of hold your breath a little bit with, like you mentioned, a, a very good quarterback in Jaden Daniels coming up first with, with uh, Arizona State.